hell that brings demons in your life. The waterways of the underworld can cause that to happen. Second you get dumped under that water, you open up doorways and you bring stuff to you. Being baptized is not a good thing, it's bad. But y'all gonna still do it anyway, so it really don't matter. Just thought I'd say that. Y'all think because Jesus got baptized, y'all are supposed to do it. Y'all forget he's the son of God. He had a reason. Cleansing your spirit, that's all. But his thing was truth, not actual water. But yeah, all right. I'm out. And if you think that going to church and praying and reading the Bible is saving you, it's not. For the fact that you make all these demons and then you never make it right, and you try to run to the church and you run to Jesus, but you never made your sins right. And here's a little tidbit you should understand. Jesus, his forgiveness is only, it's only secured in the heavens down here. Even if he forgives you, demons can still mess with you. His forgiveness down here ain't secure. It works, but it's not secure. Because it doesn't matter how many times he forgives you if you don't face your demons and make them right. They don't leave you alone no matter how much he forgives you. Because he didn't cause your demons. You did, so you got to face him. His forgiveness only works on his end, not theirs. You feel me? Basically what I'm saying is, just because he forgave you and let go of what you did, doesn't mean they did. So just because you get saved and you try to run from your demons does not mean they're not still chasing you. And one day they will catch up to you. So running to the church and running to the Bible and the cross and all that's not going to fix anything. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. You don't fix your demons. You don't make them right. You don't face on his forgiveness pretty much. Is a waste on you because you still didn't make stuff right with people or whatever the situation. I know. And oh yeah, just because God forgives you don't mean demons do. It's either you face them or they'll keep messing with you until you do. I know. And oh yeah, holding a grudge against a person doesn't make you right just because you are.